Blue Sky has been growing at a fast pace, reaching over 22 million users and counting. People seem to love the platform, but one common issue is that users can't figure out the correct Blue Sky banner size. There doesn't seem to be any official dimensions listed on the Blue Sky app or website, so we're here to help. Today, we're going to teach you how to make a custom banner for Blue Sky using the best Blue Sky banner size. Let's get into it. After doing a fair bit of research and our own testing, we found that the best Blue Sky banner size is 1500 by 500 pixels. On desktop computers and laptops, Blue Sky banners will display at 1500 pixels wide, but will be slightly cropped at the top and bottom. On mobile devices like smartphones and tablets, banners will display at a full height of 500 pixels, but they'll be slightly cropped on the left and right sides. With this in mind, it's best to use 1500 by 500 and to keep all of your main design elements in this middle safe area to avoid any awkward cropping. And you can fill in the background area with an image, a pattern, or a color. Now that you know the correct Blue Sky cover photo size, it's time to create a banner for your Blue Sky profile. To make this super easy, head over to Snappa and make a free account. Snappa is an easy design tool that anyone can use to make free banners and other images for social media. I've added a link in the description for you to check it out. On the Snappa homepage, type 1500 by 500 pixels under Custom Graphic Size and click Create. This will open a blank canvas where you can add images, text, shapes, colors, and more to your banner design. Let's start by adding a background image. If you click on the Backgrounds tab and select Photos, you can search through Snappa's stock photo library. There's literally millions of royalty-free images to choose from here, so you'll definitely find something that fits your style. All you have to do is click on a photo to set it as your background image. For my Blue Sky banner, I'm looking for a nice image of clouds to use as my background. Next, let's add a shape. If you select the Shapes tab, you can click on any shape to add it to your design. You can then drag the corner points to resize it, and use the toolbar on the left to change the color, add a border, and round the corners. Now, we can layer a line of text on top of our shape. To do this, just select the Text tab and click to add a heading. Then. Double-click the text box on your design to highlight it, and you can type in any title or heading that you'd like. You can now use the toolbar on the left to make more adjustments. You can change the alignment, the font, the text size, the color, and more. Take your time to make sure that your text looks great and fits well within the shape of your banner. Now, for a finishing touch, I'm going to click on the Graphics tab and select Icons. I'll then type butterfly in the search bar to find a nice icon that looks similar to the Blue Sky logo. All of our icons are royalty free as well, and same as before, you can just click on any icon to add it to your design. You can then resize and reposition it, and use the toolbar on the left to change the color and make any other edits. Once you're finished designing, click the pen icon at the top to rename your graphic. Then make sure to save to avoid losing any progress. After that, just click download and select Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. Now that you've designed your custom Blue Sky banner, it's time to upload it to your profile. To do this, just head over to Blue Sky and click Profile in the menu on the left. Then click Edit Profile and select the tiny camera icon in the right corner. Here, you can upload the banner design that you downloaded from Snappa. You'll get a quick visual preview of how your cover photo will look, then just click Done and Save Changes to set your new banner on your Blue Sky profile page. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes to make a banner for Blue Sky, and it looks great on all devices. Well, that pretty much wraps up today's tutorial, so if you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.